Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo L560 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up really simple or right, I'll say under two minutes. You can upgrade the RAM and I made a really short video to see what's your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description if you want to see your maximum capacity. But in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it and how you can replace it. And what if you replace it and you turn on, turns on, but there's no screen in that situation, what you should do? What are the troubleshoot for those situations? So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Don't worry about any configuration in the files or anything like that. It's uh, all safe. Now you can flip it upside down. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to grab yourself a screwdriver set. Here we're going to use our iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, uh, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. And right down here, we're going to see a big L shaped kind of cover right in here from the fan down all the way here that has only one, two, three screws. Now remember to upgrade the RAM or hard drive stuff like that. You don't need to remove the battery, it's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be that extra paranoid, you could just push these triggers away and slide back the RAM, the battery to disconnect it. If you want to be paranoid, do it. But if not, you don't need to. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna loosen up the screws, all these three screws. The screws will not come out entirely. It has a little C lock on them, so it will prevent it coming out. So pretty much you just have to twist it until you hear a click sound. Once you hear those click sounds, you wanna stop right there. Once you did all these three, all you wanna do is put your fingernail, or if not, grab a opening tool, guitar pick, stick it right in there, and lift it up from this way up that way. And because it had the tiny hinges here, you don't want to lift it up from here. You bring it up like this, and you're going to see the RAMs right in here. These are a DDR3 RAM. You could put an 8 gig, an 8 gig to have a uh, 16 gig. If your max capacity goes up to 16, you can do it. Or you can put commonly is a 4 gig and 4 gig. And you can just really simply take it out and replace them. Now, to remove the RAMs is really simple. All you need to do, you gotta put your fingernails at the side of this trigger right in here, and you wanna pull them away, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to grab it and pull it back on a 45 degree angle. Same thing on the bottom. You wanna pull these two triggers away, and the RAM will pop up in 45. You wanna slide it back on the same degree angle. And in here, they have an 8 gig and 8 gig total of the 16 gig. If yours has only 4 gig or something like that, you can just swipe them with the same RAM. Now, once you get the new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. And you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way inside the dim. And then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard. And you should hear these triggers open and close softly right there. Same thing on the second one. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle and then you want to push it down and the triggers open and close right there. Now let's say that you put the new RAM in here if you had an old one on the bottom you put the new one in and you power on and you still don't get anything on the screen don't worry about it. There is an a first option would be to power off uh, remove both of the RAMs okay and then turn on and wait five seconds power it off directly and then plug in both of the RAMs and again wait, turn on and wait 5 to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a MEM check. If the BIOS is stuck and is not doing a MEM check, you can forcefully do it, uh, force it to do a MEM check by disconnecting the battery and disconnecting the BIOS battery by pulling this jack right in here. This cable, pull it up, it only goes in one way. Pull up the jack and wait 5 seconds or 10 seconds and plug it in and then Turn it on, and that way you, you can force the motherboard to do a MEM check, which is a RAM check. That's another way. All right. Once you have the new RAM in there and all ready to go, you can just grab this cover in here, put this side of the cover down, and you want to squeeze it down. You squeeze the side, make sure you hear those click sounds, and then you start tightening up the screws at the bottom cover. 
Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. And this is how you can upgrade your RAM for your Lenovo laptop L560.